The synth editor is used to create unique sounds for your melodies. Some of the knobs might be grayed out, meaning that they won't have any effect on the sound. But these become activated when other knobs are adjusted. The synth has three oscillators, which produce the initial noises. For each oscillator, you can adjust the waveform, the pitch of each oscillator using the semitone and detune knobs, and how loud each oscillator is with the level knobs. The filter shapes the character of the sound. You can choose from different filter shapes, adjust the cutoff frequency and the resonance, which can have a big impact on the sound. The tracking knob adjusts how much the filter cutoff changes depending on which note is being played in the melody loop. Envelopes shape how the sound changes over time. You can set the attack time, the decay time, the sustain level, and the release time of the amplitude envelope to go from short, punchy sounds to long, sweeping ones. The modulation envelope works in the same way as the amplitude envelope, but instead of controlling volume, it can control other parameters of the sound. The LFOs, low frequency oscillators, can also be used for this. The LFOs have control for their waveform, shape, and speed and an option to lock their speed to the tempo of the song. When you set up your modulation sources, use a modulation panel to wire them into other parts of the synth. Simply pick a modulation source by pressing the X button over the top selector and pressing the left and right buttons. Pick a modulation destination with the other selector and adjust the knob to set how much modulation to apply. You can wire up any combination of modulation sources and destinations. As a finishing touch, you can add some white noise to the mix. Adjust the glide knob, which affects how quickly the oscillators reach the desired pitch of your melody. The best thing to do is experiment. If in doubt, you can check the tooltip area or the synth editor section of the help reference guide.